Hey guys, what's up? I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a while, uh, but it was the holidays. Pretty busy, you know. Um, so now I'm probably going to be doing uh, at least one to two videos a week. Got my site pretty much up and running. Uh, I made it on iWeb, which is probably not the best, so I might switch. So just bear with me. It's not that good. But for each um, video I do, I will be posting... Uh, like a how-to on it you know, more in depth on the website so um, as of now it's mhlengineering.com but I think I'm gonna change the name I'm not sure but anyways um, also if you have any suggestions for videos and no I'm not trying to look to get comments or anything you can shoot me an email you can shoot me a message um, or you can comment if you'd like uh, what would you like to see would you like to see app reviews would you like to see something specific in Xcode would you like me to focus on something specific or would you like me to just keep doing what I'm doing um, so okay that was just clearing a few things up so now let, we're gonna get started let's jump into Xcode file new new project gonna be making an action sheet with actions um, so that you press one of the buttons it does something and yes, right now I have a in-depth um, tutorial on it um, on my website. You should see it right on the front page. I'll post a link in the description. So uh, product name will be um, Action Sheet. Will be fine. Uh, device family, whatever you like. Now um, we're gonna select automatic reference counting. But if you have an older version of Xcode, uh, I'll show you what to do. Um, automatic reference counting has to do with memory management I'm not going to get into that um, it has to do with releasing usually you release these um, the alert sorry the action sheet uh, but if you have that checked off you don't have to do it it automatically does it for you so I'll show you that uh, as we get into it so we can click create and we can jump right into our view controller dot H after the UI view controller you uh, open curly bracket and close it. I'm gonna show you, demonstrate this in a really kind of uh, a different way, something kind of fun. So you can, I don't know, you can add your own code, you know, play around with it. Uh, but uh, let's do two labels: IB Outlet UI Label, Label One, and IB Outlet UI Label, Label Two. And you can call them whatever you want, just keeping things simple. And we need two integers, and We'll just have a variable x and integer y. So x is going to hold an integer and y is going to hold one. And you'll see how this comes to, into play very soon. Now we need an action. We're going to do IB action open action sheet ID sender or whatever you want it. Um, so we can copy this action and go into our dot m. And now we're going to do most of the coding. It's actually not that hard. So after the open action sheet, we're gonna do we're gonna make the action the actual action sheet. So we're gonna do UI action sheet. Let's just call it action sheet. Space equals space. UI action sheet block. Close bracket. In it with title at. Um, and we can just do. Hello. You can do whatever you like. So we're allocating it, we're calling it action sheet, doing it title, so I'm going a little bit fast. Uh, delegate itself, you can see this whole project and a whole tutorial on my website, again. Cancel button title will be, uh, let's just do cancel. Uh, destructive button title, uh, let's just not do one, uh, but you can play around with that again. And other button titles will be like and dislike so this is kind of a different way of how I'm gonna uh, demonstrate this to you so we're gonna have one title which will be hello and three buttons one cancel one like and dislike now we have to show it in the view we're gonna do action sheet show in view self dot view simple as that now here's the part if you don't have automatic reference counting checked off 
or if you have an older version of Xcode, you're just going to do this action sheet release. But since we have it checked off, you see, we don't need to do it. Release is unavailable, not available in automatic reference counting mode. See that? Automatically does it for you. Kind of nice. Now we have to make the buttons do something. So when we click them, they'll actually do an action. So we're going to do a void function here. So we're going to do void. Um, sorry, I'm thinking alert view for some reason. Action sheet. Sheet. Colon. Um, sorry, parenthesis. Action sheet. UI action sheet. Star. Uh, close the parenthesis. Action sheet. Clicked button at index. NS integer button index. Open. Bracket. So we're just saying that it is an action sheet and we're saying click the button and index makes it easy to access each button just by using an integer. So let's say like would be the very top button and it would start at zero. Dislike would be the bottom beneath it. It would, it would be accessed by one. If you had another one below that, if you put one like right there, that'd be two, three, four, etc, etc. The very bottom one will be uh, the number after you finish this so this would be 0 1 and so this would be 2 if we had 3 it would be 0 1 2 and this would be 3 so you kinda get the picture we can do now how we're gonna access them it's really simple just in an if statement if button index equals equals 0 which is like we're gonna do x equals equals x plus 1 so we're going to add 1 to x for each time it's clicked. And now we're going to display that on label. So we're going to do label1.text equals nss, sorry, bracket nss string, string with format at, um, we can do percent %i, which is, and you might be wondering what percent %i is. This is how you display an integer. And it, it doesn't know what percent i is yet, but we just have to put comma x. And now it'll read that and display the number. Okay. So for the next one would be button index is equals 1. So 1 would be dislike. So we're going to do button index equals 1. We're going to do y instead of x since we, and that's going to still be plus 1. Instead of label 1, it's going to be label 2. Instead of x, it's going to be y. So you can just copy that and change those few things. Okay, we're done. It's pretty easy. But then again, your code goes here. So you can put anything here. You can link it to a different website. You can do actions, you know. This is just basic. Kind of a cool thing I was trying to illustrate it with. Now we can go into our viewcontroller.xib drag our rounded rect button and just click hello I don't know whatever you want drag in a couple labels four I'm gonna do four two of them I'm gonna put zero in these will display our numbers two I'm gonna, one of them I'm gonna do dislikes and this is just I don't know this is just for show it's kinda likes uh, you, you can customize this however you like again um, okay so now all we have to do is go into file zoner label 1 to label 1 sorry if I'm going a little bit fast here label 2 to the other label um, kinda have to do this quickly because I have a few things to do uh, but you can get the whole thing on my website so now that's all we have to do connect the action and click touch up inside and go to iPhone 5 simulator click run and it should work perfectly let's hope so as it runs we can click hello as you can see the action sheet comes up in the view click like and likes shows one dislike and as you can see this you can do this as many times as you'd like and it'll add now you can put actions whatever you please um, this is kinda cool build off this use this in your applications I hope you enjoyed again the full tutorial is um, on my website it's a little more in-depth um, and the source 
the project is available for download on my website. Um, so I'll put links. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hit 150 subscribers like the other day. That's great. Thank you so much. I know it's not a lot, but it's a pretty good accomplishment. One day, I hope to get uh, my final goal is a thousand subscribers. I don't think that'll ever happen, but I'm just going to keep putting out these videos, and we'll see. So, thank you so much. See you later.